everyone and welcome back to my channel we are going to be doing the monthly budget recap for the month of november so let's get on in and see what happened this month if you are new to my channel welcome and if you are not new welcome back thanks for joining me so let's get on into this so i always just like to or i guess i forgot this time to just put the month up here and then, so for the first um, part, we have income. I, I estimated that I was gonna have 35.52, and even after finding out that my um, commission was gonna be a little short with once I pulled all my monies together, I ended up coming out at 34.16.19. So that's that was a huge month. Um, in terms of um, cash flow and stuff like that. And then for the first um, paycheck, I needed to pay my sudden link and my Netflix. I did not do cash envelopes this month, so that would be at zero. Netflix did stay at 1406, and my sudden link was 97.93. So um, that came out to 111.99, so we were all good there. And then for my second check, we paid for my lemonade, which was $6.50. My Capital One, I did not pay for that this month um, because I moved it to next month. So I'll be making two payments for Capital One next month. My Geico was $138.50. My Great Lakes was $44.39. And my Entergy bill, um, I budgeted $70.36, however, I decided to move my energy bill from December to November um, just so that I wasn't spending too much in the first week of December because I am making that Capital One payment. So I ended up doing $150.87 and that kind of covered everything. And that ended up coming out to $340.26. And then, like I said, I did no cash envelopes and then there were no sinking funds. And then this is where um, things get a little spicy. So we have my income at $34.16.19. Um, my expenses actually ended up coming out to, I didn't do the math very well, but um, what is this? Three, four, that's five, six. So let's just say it was like 357. It's not going to be the right amount of numbers, but yeah. Um, and then for debt, I was planning to put 2227 towards debt. And I actually ended up putting $2,920.05 towards debt. Now, I know you guys are thinking like, wait a minute, Janelle, that is not how much money you had in debt. I know that. I know. This is a combination of us going to Austin at the beginning of the month. I used my credit card to pay for our hotel stay which was actually a little bit more than expected because um, we ended up staying um, an extra night and then I paid for a half of gas and then I paid for one like meal while we were there and then my boyfriend had covered um, like the tickets and pretty much everything else so it was kind of split in half in a sense so that's also in this total as well and um, that left me with, um, I did not do what this should have left me with, but it was like maybe like a hundred and something dollars left. Um, but what I'm really excited about is that I have gotten my total debt down to $420 and two cents y'all. And guess what? That actually meets my goal. So that puts me at 8% and if we go to my calendar for November, my goal was to get my credit card under 15%. You guys can't imagine how like happy I am to get this far in um, my 
like that snowball because I've been working so hard but I won't go into it because you guys know once a month I do a debt snowball update so I'll be talking about all of my debt and everything like that um, in that video so you guys stay tuned for it but this was just my monthly budget um, I currently have like about 19 or 20 dollars left so I was able to stay in budget um, I'm not in the red which is also always my ultimate goal so as long as I have a little bit of money left over I am happy all of my bills are paid for I'm not past due on anything and this was just my monthly budget you guys if you guys like this video go ahead and give it a, a give it a big thumbs up comment down below share this video with your friends and family if you haven't already subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe I would love for you to join and I'll see you guys next time